I'm Gabby. I'm Jessica. I'm Carly. I'm Kirsten. And I'm Kaylee. Today we are not only going to teach you how to use a Dutch oven, but also how to clean one. And hope you enjoyed the video. Today I'm going to show you what tools and supplies you're going to need to maintain and use your Dutch oven. First off is the chimney. The chimney is used to heat up briquettes. The briquettes go in here while a fire starter burns down here, heating up the briquettes. You'll also obviously need a Dutch oven. I recommend well, you make sure you get one with a lid. This will keep the briquettes on top. You'll also want one with legs. This will make sure you have enough room for briquettes on the bottom too. You'll also need a Dutch oven stand. You can get one as we have here that is purchased from the store or you can make your own with a few simple steps. All you need is a cookie tray, some tin foil, and some cinder blocks. You wrap the cookie tray in tin foil and put it on the cinder box and you're ready to go. Some other things you'll need are gloves. Make sure you get weld good welding gloves. These will keep the heat off of your hands. And you'll also need fire starters, clips for cleaning the Dutch oven, tongs, a lid grabber, and a lid holder. Besides those things, you'll need briquettes. Make sure get, to get ones that are not doused with gasoline too. Paper towels, canola oil, aluminum foil, some towels, and a bucket. When you're filling the bucket, make sure to put a stick in there so little critters can get out if they get stuck. Some other things you could get but aren't that are not necessities are a Dutch oven cover and a foam pad. This will keep mud off your knee as you're sitting down working with your Dutch oven. Thanks so much. Before you start actually cooking in your Dutch oven, you need to go over some safety rules first. Like when you crouch down near your cut Dutch oven, you wanna do your three point stance. Your three point stance is pretty much is where you're on one knee. You also wanna have closed toe shoes, which is like this. And you wanna have any hair tied up in a bun or a ponytail that's longer than your shoulders and you don't want to have any strings out like if you're wearing a sweatshirt. You also want to have gloves so that you don't burn yourself like these ones. And you also want to have your bucket just in case any fire gets out of control. After we put the coals in we can start heating them up. We can either use a fire starter or some papers and light them up. After you've lit them up, it will be a while before the coals are ready and you can spend your spare time preparing the food as we have already done. After about 10 minutes, the coals are finally done. You can tell by their color, which is a mixture of black and white. Coals that have cooked too long will be gray, white, and ashy. If you accidentally cook your coals for too long, you can still use them, but you'll have to cook some new ones immediately to trade out with the old ones when they lose their heat. Now I can put the coals on the Dutch oven. To, get, to cook it properly, we will need a certain amount on the top and on the bottom. There will be 10 on the bottom and 16 on the top. And we will need 16 on the top. This will allow the food to cook faster and more equally. After the coals are placed, you will need to turn the, the lid and the base of the Dutch oven every 15 minutes. I'll show you how really quickly. All you do is turn the lid and the base of the Dutch oven a quarter of the way in opposite directions. Although some of these steps might seem difficult, pretty soon you'll have a nice warm Dutch oven meal. While cooking, you may feel the need to peek inside your Dutch oven. However, it's best to refrain from doing so, because when you open the lid, all the heat comes out, causing it to take much longer to cook and just not cook it as well. Now that you've finished and enjoyed your Dutch oven meal, well, you may be wondering, well, how do I clean it? 
Cleaning your Dutch oven is actually fairly simple. You just need to follow a few simple steps. First, when cleaning your Dutch oven, it's important not to use soap. Soap can strip your Dutch oven's layer of seasoning and oil. This layer is very important. It helps keep your Dutch oven rust free and can help aid in the cooking of your future food. And if it's really necessary, you can just use the slightest amount of soap. Using too much can be really bad. Instead, use hot water and scrape off any extra food like this. I recommend using an old bread tie. It's, e it's cheap and it works. Now you're going to need to season your Dutch oven with oil like this. Now that you've seasoned and cleaned your Dutch oven, you're going to need to store it in a dry place. It's important that before you store it, you put either a newspaper or a towel between the top and the base layer of your Dutch oven. All in all, your Dutch oven is easy to clean and easy to store. As you can see, these simple steps you can make an easy and fun Dutch oven meal. Thanks for watching our video.